Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Hit the Deck! Oh, I thought it was going to happen a little bit quicker, but well, I, I basically had to redo this because of a certain thing that I forgot to do that I said I was going to do, at, namely going back to that other Goron after I blow up this boulder over here. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. We know the dialogue. You can press the button to just plop through it really quick. So now you want to go back to Medigoron. Yeah, that's that really big Goron. Well, second biggest Goron, I should say. The biggest one is over at the Snowhead Temple. But yeah, we want to go back over to that other one there. Oh, oh. I didn't have enough speed to make the gap. Alas, alas. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. I'm on the proper side! Yay! <laughs> That's right, I came from the other side! How convenient is that? <laughs> I didn't even take any damage. So yeah, the reason why you're supposed to go back over to this Goron on, on this side here is because... Well... You need to get certification for those... You know, the powder kegs and... Well, I've got to go back over here after all the issues that I was having with the Goron race and... Yes. Hey, how's it going? I'm the Goron who sells powder cakes and most famous products. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I have to change back. Looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle powder cakes on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. And I get a powder keg for free. You can only carry one at a time, but that's all we'll need. <laughs> If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're hit, so be careful. I showed that earlier. Now, I'm gonna go and do the usual routine, if you don't mind. And there's another 100 rupees. Now, we're gonna sorta kinda get on with the game now, I suppose. Even, but we're not exactly going to be going to the place that you think we're going to be going. Oh yeah. My apologies, sir, as wrong with me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction because- Oh yeah, I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to go through North Clock Town for- But yeah, um, basically we're going over to the sea, but yet we're not. This is another one of those points in the game where you've got sort of kind of mandatory side quests of sorts, so they're technically not a side quest in a way, sort of, kind of, if you think about it. And, uh, yes, so... Oh shoot, this is not the correct way either. Arr, don't worry about time or anything like that. We just have to be there by daytime. <laughs> I'll just go around until I find the place that I'm looking for. And yeah, if you do that jump, you're able to do... You'll be able to get a rupee out of that. So this is where the ocean is. And you're like, oh, what the heck? I can't, I can't get through this. What's going on here? I smell salt in the air, so the ocean must be near. But with this tall fence in the way, we can't go any farther. If only you had a horse to ride, we could... Oops, sorry. Well, yeah, that's... Uh, thank, thanks for reminding me there. So, basically, we we're not pointed in any particular direction at this moment in time. So we've just got to figure this out on our own. Luckily, I know where to go. <laughs> See that? See that red dot on the map there? That's, uh... Oh, I ran out of magic. Well, whatever. This is the place we need to go to. It's the Milk Road Ahead, Romani Ranch, further ahead. Let's go! Yep, Romani Ranch is where we are going. And, uh, yeah... Oh, shoot. That's right. I need to take this off to hit this. We have ourselves a little warp point. And I guess I'll show you... Oops, well, yeah, oh, okay, there, I didn't want to talk to the... I thought I was going to talk to the owl, basically. <laughs> anyway, Gorman track. Let's check it out. And man, does this music sound familiar. Yes. They're like, uh-oh, outsiders. Or just outsider, really. <laughs> what do you want? You know what this place is? This is the Gorman Brothers Horse Training Center. You got no business here if you got no horse. Now beat it! Scram! And suddenly they're added to the notebook. So we now know of a certain side quest. 
Why don't you buy some fresh milk? This is just between you and me. That milk that they produce down yonder at Romani Ranch is watered down a bit. It's not worth drinking. We don't do that kind of thing here. Ours is the real deal. It's always full of fresh and full of vitamins. It's true. I'll sell cheap for you. How about it? 50. Oh no! Good lord. That is not. <laughs> that is not cheap at all. I can get a fairy for free elsewhere. <laughs> um. Anything else that I can check out over here at this moment in time? I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay. So, we are off! And by off, I mean we are going to have a seemingly insurmountable obstacle at the end of the road. Oh, poopers, scoopers. Well, what the, what might this duder say here, though, if I were to, you know, speak with it? How's it going there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The spirit of a chrismic dancer who died in a terminal field dances there night after night! So this is the point that you finally find out about that dancer, but it doesn't really connect to that, uh... Yeah, those are the dancing plants. It doesn't really connect to that side quest there, so you still don't really understand, or probably won't understand how to do that without some lucky guesswork. <laughs> And so this guy is uh, working hard to get rid of this boulder. He's like, oh, someone was up to no good in mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. I'm sorry, I'll move it quickly. Well, the issue with that is that he won't be done until like day three, and we need to be there soon. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we are going to blow this up. I like those apples. <laughs> Wait, can I push this a little bit closer just to make sure that... Okay, there we go. And he's gonna be a little bit mad at me for doing it. He's like, ah, what? I thought I could break it. And there we go. <laughs> so I guess it was good that I forgot to do that certification thing earlier, because I got a free um, powder keg out of it. Hey, as long as it's open, the traffic it's fine. That is true. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, there we go. Alright, here we go. We are going and we are going. And we are in the peaceful countryside, with a whole bunch of side quests to do, as long as we're here. <laughs> this is Romani Ranch, and uh, I, I'm not really sure if I really, truly want to do all these stones in all honesty, because there's kind of a lot of them. <laughs> uh-huh. It seems Keaton the Ghost Fox plays tricks in the grass. Hmm, interesting, interesting, no. Anyway, let's let's get ourselves up to the ranch a little bit quicker here. You're gonna see more of this ranch as we go on here. But, uh, oh, geez, the moon. Oh, look! Look at what? We've seen the moon like 800 times. Oh, what? Isn't that your horse? It is. Anope! Reunited at last! Well, sort of. Hmm, well, we can't seem to get her out of there, so maybe just uh oh Doggies don't like Gorons. Hey, let, let's see what you have to say here. I wonder if my cute face ever let me quit practicing yet Well, 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 that's that's a hint to something in kind of a soon time. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Um, I won't say my name Hmm. Well, all right then how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. <laughs> she, she calls you that no matter what you say, actually. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you prat her about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Not they. Anything but they. Hey, they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. <laughs> Spooky, but manageable. They come running in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn to steal our cows. Basically. <laughs> They're like alien ghosts. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? You bet I would. Great, now that's a spirit, Grasshopper. 
Okay, then I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. Aim for that barn. Approach it slowly. So hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Guys, Harper, let's practice right away. There are 10 ghost shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. Yep, it's kind of like a little bitty mini game of sorts. So let's, let's see if we can break that record. Look at that, we got the horse. It's amazing. Mini game, go! I said go! There we go! So you want to shoot all these balloons, and we might find it easier to just shoot at them rapidly in succession, thusly, if at all possible, because we have unlimited arrows to do it, so why not? <laughs> yes, take that, you evil alien ghost of death! I'm trying to hit that other one up there. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit far away. Yeah, whoop, 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 whoop. yeah this isn't that hard of a game or anything like that. That the most difficulty is just finding out where those things. Okay, why were you so slow there? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the biggest, the biggest difficulty is basically finding where they are. And since I know where they are, it's not really any sort of big deal or anything like that. Victory is mine. Okay, you're done. Woo! 50.42! Amazing! It's a new record! You two work perfectly together. Oh, my hero! I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. Remember this song from Ocarina of Time? ZYX, ZYX, at least on the GameCube controller. Uh, oh, I mean, whoops! <laughs> no, it's not ZYX, it's C up YX. I was thinking Z was C up for some reason again. I don't know, I'm stupid when it comes to the button translations for some reason. There we go! And now we can call a no pay anytime we want to. And, uh, th 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 don't, don't think it's Epona, it's actually a no pay. They typoed. The song of two who are bound by trusts. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we, we lose. They run away at the first light of the sun, so I'll have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yeah, I got that. The operation starts tonight at two. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. Alright, so we gotta be here at 2 in the morning, and she doesn't even know of our face. <laughs> Alright, but we can do a little bit of side questing until then now, can't we? I think we can, so how about we go over to this place over here, and get out a different mask here, and go inside. This is the Kuko Shack. And there's a rather depressed. Oh yes, pots and plants. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted there. So this guy, he's pretty depressed about what's going on in here. You'll see when we meet him. And he wants his chickadees to grow up, basically, but he doesn't think he'll be able to see them grow up. Well, let's see what we can do about that. I heard from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. Something that big. It sure to take this ranch down with it. <laughs> Oh well. Mm, mm, mm. My only regret is that I won't get to see these little guys in their prime as roosters. Hmm. I heard it from my gramps. It says, oh, he's just gonna repeat himself. Okay. Oh shoot! It's it. Oh, it even goes through this again. No, 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 no. <laughs> so there's the little chickadees. They're hanging out around here. And with the power of that mask, we can get them all to grow up, but the trick here... By the way, there's little faces carved in that, yeah. <laughs> but the trick here is that this takes a while, and uh, yeah, you probably want to kind of march them up. See that? You do the march with your ocarina here. Yeah, we're rocking out. We're having a good time. We got to get all these chickadees to follow us. So that they'll all grow up big and strong. This has absolutely no sense to it whatsoever. But this is how it works. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get all the chickadees. I forgot how many there are, but we'll know when we get them all, and they start growing up right before our eyes. And it, as you can tell, the uh, the speed of ourselves pretty slow. 
yes, extremely slow in fact, but don't worry, we'll eventually get done, we'll eventually find them all, we've got six so far with a mysterious amount left over, I, for I forgot how many as I said. <laughs> But yeah, we're, it's just the slowest pace you can possibly imagine. Uh, I got seven of them, I see another one to make eight, maybe there's ten in total, who knows? Who knows? Only the game knows! Uh, actually, I hope that's all of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing any more, unless I just didn't do all the... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Number nine is probably ten. They usually got, like to do even numbers and whatnot, so where is number 10 then? I went around to, to start with the back first because I thought it would make it a little bit easier, but alas, alas, I somehow missed chickadees. And these chickadees are pretty cute too, by the way. And where is the last one? <laughs> I'll cut until I find the last one, I guess. Oh, I see it straight ahead! It must have been somewhere else or something like that, I don't know. I'm assuming that this is the last one, but yeah, there's a gossip zone. It'll probably hint you as to what you need to do over here or something like that, but... Well, ah, there we go! We, there was indeed ten in total. Now let's march all these chickadees back to Mr. Sad and call it a day. Woo! Happy days! I don't really get it, but you seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. And I get a really, really useful mask. It's the bunny hood. Why, what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? It basically makes you run faster. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> it is a successful side quest completion. Ooh, and, well, well, I think I'm going to call it a part now, because there's more side quests and stuff to do. But I would recommend that you all save between parts. Let's just, let's just, oops, let's just put it that way. <laughs> So, but first, let's just see if this th thing will hint you as to what I think it's going to hint you, just for kicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. A torture device of insomnia called the All Night Mask seems to be available at the Curiosity Shop. But we didn't see that when we were there before. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Did I speak with you one more time? One more time, please. These guys are all... Oh. Oh, okay, it's just same dialogue. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue on my questing over here. Woo!